Good afternoon, YouTube. Wanted to go over things about stuff on a budget. And, of course, I have my Smith & Wesson Model 39 9mm here. Paid $400 for that. You know, steel slide alloy frame. And the reason why I wanted to go over things on a budget is because most of us live, you know, paycheck to paycheck on a shoestring budget. And occasionally that shoestring even gets really tight and sometimes it breaks. Because most of us, again, are on paycheck to paycheck. We don't have a check ferry that could come fluttering in on its wings and drop money all over the place. You know, we, we, can't all, we can't all rely on that. So that being said, let's get started. First thing is, you know, instead of going out and buying a, a crappy made in China machete or knife or something like that, you know, try it as best you can look for a good amount. And there are, they are out there. And this, of course, and you can tell this knife has been used. I carry this knife every time I go out hiking in the woods, this knife goes. It's This is my U.S. Air Force survival knife. Uh, this is made by Ontario. Beware of the copies. They do make them, and they are nowhere near the quality this knife is. I paid $43 for this knife ordered with shipping. And I've had it ever since, and it, it's just, it's amazed me where this knife has been and what I've done with it. The only thing I've ever had to do with it is occasionally take and get some leather polish and oil and polish up this, basically some preservative for the uh, for the handle. Other than that, it's never needed anything. Very nice knife, extremely sharp. Uh, the sheath, you can tell I've, I've done some work here. Fire steel, uh, cotton ball soaked in, in Vaseline, strike anywhere matches, compass, jute rope, which can act as a fire starter if need be, comes with a sharpening stone. You, you can't ask for more. I got $43, this thing, you, you can't beat this. Don't think you've got to spend hundreds of dollars on a survival knife. If you want to, and granted, they do make some great survival knives. Not saying those knives aren't worth the money. I'm just saying you don't have to buy them if you can't afford it, which, like me, I can't. So this is what I end up getting, and I have been very happy ever since. Uh, another nice little knife. Not quite a survival knife, but it's a nice little pocket knife, backup knife. Good little carry knife. This is an Oppenel. This is These are made in France, and this is a number 5. Anything like a number 6 and up, there's a little collar that locks this blade open in place. This is a smaller one. These are what these refer to as a penny knife. These are like a carving knife. The French love these things. And you see them here. This is like a, a, a modern version of what you used to see in colonial America. What they call a penny knife. Just a very simple knife. Very simple locking mechanism. And it works. This is a very sharp blade. But this is not something you're going to baton wood with. It's not something you're going to be cutting a lot of heavy things with. This is for little things. Common sense things. Taking a look at the knife, you can understand that. Um, but for little things, as a backup knife, as just a little pocket knife, this is a great knife. I think I got this for $8 with shipping. It normally has the maker's mark here. I took some 4 steel wool, smoothed that off, and then covered the birch in th uh, three coats of true oil. And they're different sizes. You'll see the number on them right here. You can, they're, they're extremely well-built knife for what you're getting for them. And another thing is, don't be afraid to buy used I picked this little shred up a while back for five bucks at a garage or at a uh, gun show. It's one of the USA made shreds, one of the last of the USA made shred pocket knives. I've never seen another one like this. I have used this more times than I can remember. It's a great little knife, five bucks. I've had it a while. It's never let me down. Don't be afraid if you see a knife like this at a gun show to pick one up. Buy one. It's five bucks. You can you can eventually put it in a pack or something. Another knife that I've had, I've bought knives since then, and I keep coming back to this one for a lot of chores. Cold Steel Fin Bear. I've had this knife for a while. It does everything I have ever asked of it. It's, it's, remained, it's remained a very sharp knife. It's retained its edge. The handle is a little unusual, the way the grip angle is, but the thing just works. I've skinned deer with it. I've butchered deer with it. $13 with shipping. I've, if I can, I'm going to get another one to put in another pack just because the darn thing does whatever I want it to do when I want it to do it. The sheath, I mean, look at the sheath. It's as simple as it gets, but it works. Can't go wrong with that. Now, other things, you know, pouches. I'm a big believer in these because I have a lot of them. I keep them here and there. 
and that's like this. This is a Eastern European Russian made uh, magazine or clip pouch for stripper clips. I took and glued paracord, hot glued it here so that both of these will open at the same time and one separately. And what I'm going to do is this is going to get put on a rifle stock somewhere to either carry ammunition or a little survival kit, both like I've done in the past. Got this for five bucks at a gun show. I, a lot of times now I go to gun shows just for stuff like this. The latest one is my new Possibles bag. And that's my M7 Bandolier. And this is made, normally on the inside here would be instructions for the Claymore mine. These carry Claymores. That's what they used to carry in these. And I added, I cut the strap down, took out, and put a longer strap on it because I want to carry this over a thick winter coat and the original strap won't do it. Now, I, inside that pouch, you can carry all sorts. I, there's, there's more room in here than you can possibly believe for this little bandolier. There's a lot of room in here. I can get a couple of canteens in here. I can get gear in here. And I've decided I'm not just going to carry this for the winter or for the fall. I'm going to carry it for the summer, put a couple of water bottles in it, a little survival kit. So instead of having to throw on a pack, I can do that. So there you have it, folks. Don't be afraid to go out and buy stuff that's used. Don't be afraid to spend a few bucks. But stay away from the cheap crap, the made in China crap, the useless crap. You know, things like that. Little things like this. So, with that being said, boys and girls, have a good day and happy shopping.